Hey, what's up guys? Ken here again and welcome to another video. So today, mag-unbox po tayo ng adapter from Ugreen. To be specific, ito yung M.2 to PCIe uh, SSD adapter. Uh, the reason actually why I am getting and I'll be using this adapter is because nung 99 sale, dahil sa kakamadali, is mali yung motherboard na napili ko. Uh, yung napili kong motherboard is an Asus uh, motherboard na walang M.2 uh, SSD slot. So, I have two options. Either ipa-change ko yung motherboard sa seller or uh, bumili na lang ako ng adapter. And pinili ko yung adapter kasi mas cheaper siya. And I only got it for only 361 pesos sa Shopee. And uh, which I think sulit na for me personally. And sa loob ng box, aside from user manual, uh, kasama na rin yung bracket. I think ito yung tinatawag na bracket na gagamitin to cover yung space na ma-occupy ng um, adapter sa likod ng system unit. And then kasama na rin yung tools, uh, yung screwdrivers and mga screw na gagamitin mo uh, to install the adapter. And for you guys na mag upgrade ng PC kahit uh, 5 or 7 years old na yung PC ninyo, I think upgrading from the typical hard drive disk to SSD can make a difference. A huge difference actually uh, in terms of speed. This is on top of, you know, processor and RAM. Uh, I think yung notice nyo talaga yung differences yung SSD. And uh, we will test the read and write speed ng SSD later using the adapter at the same time yung boot time using the adapter and the SSD. So guys, ito na nga yung adapter itself. Very compact and small yung design niya. And uh, compatible siya sa PCIe 3.0 and backwards compatible sa 2.0 and 1.0. And uh, in terms of slot naman sa motherboard, um, yung motherboard core is X16, yung pinakamahabang slot ng PCIe. And compatible din siya sa X8 and X4. And just to let you know guys, just to give you an idea kung ano yung pagkakaiba, kasi before hindi ko talaga alam, eto yung pagkakaiba ng each slot and sizes. And uh, according to... Ugreen's product description, the adapter can support up to 32GB per second. But uh, of course, depende pa rin to sa type and uh, specification ng SSD na bibili ninyo. Uh, yung mga expensive like uh, Evo series from Samsung are expensive but more reliable and uh, mas mabilis of course. Personally, yung pinili ko is yung Adata XPG S11 which is about 3,000 pesos. And uh, meron siyang speed na up to 2,000 megabytes per second or 2 gigabytes per second na read speed and about 1.6 gigabyte na write speed. So, install na natin guys para matest na natin yung read and write speed at the same time yung boot time. And uh, as you can see guys, I'm getting about 2.1 gigabytes per second na read speed which is actually a little bit higher dun sa nakalagay sa product description. And then sa write speed naman, it's about 1 gigabyte per second. A little bit slower din naman sa na nakalagay dun sa product description. Now, let's test naman yung boot time. And uh, based sa counting ko, yung boot time is about 
less than 10 seconds which I think for me personally really impressive um, it really makes a difference talaga yung SSD so guys uh, what do you think sa result na to uh, do you think worth it siya to upgrade please let me know in the comment section below and uh, hopefully nakatulong yung video if you're planning to buy this adapter and as always please like and subscribe for more videos like this Anyway, that's been it. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.